What is up YouTube? Today we're going to be going over how you can get boats for a cheap price. So I got my boat. It's a 14 foot Tracker John boat for $680. It came with a trolling motor, it came with three life vests, and it came with two paddles. So the first place you can go to is Craigslist. So Craigslist is actually probably one of the best places to find a boat for cheap. Like for example, right up here, we got an alum aluminum John boat right up here for $200. Now I'm gonna show how I do it on my phone just because you don't get all that scratchy discoloration in the camera. But we're basically gonna be going over how to find and hunt for a good boat on Craigslist. Alrighty, so I pulled up Craigslist on my phone and straight away we have a John boat for $200. Um, it, um, and then we got, um, I mean, you, you, ju you just gotta look, you gotta, you gotta hunt around right there is not too bad of a deal. 1400 bucks. It's a little pricey, but it does come with a Honda engine. Um, and, and it doesn't look too bad out of shape. It looks pretty solid. Now you gotta check if there's a title. That's the first thing. It does not have a title, so we'll skip that. Alrighty, so this boat's for 500 bucks. It's cheap. It's definitely in the budget. Um, and it's close by, uh, at least to me. You want to make sure you're not driving, you know, 12 hours for a boat. But it does look a little beaten up. This right here is definitely in the price range of under $1,000. So it's really... It's really great, but it's also limited and it's pretty small. Right here, we got a low John boat and Lowe's a good brand. So I'll definitely buy from that. And it comes with a motor and it says it's good in, in, in good condition, but it does not have a title. So it's going to be hard to get it. This right here comes with the trailer. Um, but I, just, I don't think it does not have a title. So yeah. Craigslist is a great place. That is probably my number one place for shopping for John boats. And the next place would have to be Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace has a lot of good deals, but just like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace, when using these websites, you have to check them every single day. If you don't check them every single day, then you can lose a lot of deals. I know on my boat, my boat, so I got it for $680, like I said um, earlier in the video. But um, I was the second person to respond when I think the post was nine hours old. And they ended up getting 17 DMs after me. I just got there at the right time. So I was able to seal the deal. The boat was originally listed for $800 and I haggled it down to 680 which was great. And so, yeah, if you want a good boat, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, all right? Those are your first two websites you got to go to. Also, like I said, check every day. So that's three things you got to do. Four, make sure it has a title. Um, you can get away without having a title, but that makes it really difficult. Um, and you're going to have to get it retitled, which can be kind of an issue. In a lot of cases, you won't be able to retitle it. Um, and also, I would recommend getting a bill of sale. Uh, that makes, I mean, bill sales are super easy. You can just print them off online. So in my opinion, those are the, th I think, four things that I think you should do to get a cheaper boat. Check every day, Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist, and make sure it has a title. And of course, five, make sure it's not, make sure it's not, you know, a crappy boat. And like I said, I had to scroll for three months before I found a John boat that was under a thousand dollars. So yeah, just just in general, hang in there, keep refreshing, and look Craigslist and Marketplace, uh, Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace, and then you'll find the deal and you can get a boat. Well, anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and have a good one.